you know, for commercial clients, they may have several items like a shirt or clamps with this color of blue on it. We've got to make sure we can get this exact color of blue, this exact color of gray, whatever it may be throughout every image. The customer expects the product they receive to match the product they see. And so color is very, very critical when it comes to commercial photography. If there's any type of manufacturing or brand colors, Panatone colors with a certain brand, you know, like McDonald's, it's a certain yellow and red. Now we may not be working for McDonald's, but we are working for companies that do have those colors in their brand that we want to make sure we get that correct. That's why I love using a, a tool like this, uh, this color passport checker which I have known values that I, can, that I can check against my system to make sure we're rendering colors properly. And of course, just a simple gray card works well too, because it's, again, it's a known value that then we can, back, we can check back to to make sure if this value is known in the scene, then all of them will neutralize and balance back to what they should be. So proper white balance and color would be my number three. And then I go to composition as my fourth and my hierarchy. We want great composition that really highlights the subject or the product that's in front of me to, and make sure that composition know where call outs are going to be, where other graphic work may be, company logos, you know, call to actions, whatever may be, an address label, whatever it is, depending on what type of media it's going to be put on. So when I'm looking at the technique and the technical side of commercial photography, that's my hierarchy and I want to work in that order. You know, some of the other things may have to give or take in that. So um, it's going to be different for you, maybe different for, for whatever you're photographing. But for me, it's exposure, lighting, color, composition.